You've probably seen almond milk at your local supermarket. It's a good alternative to dairy milk. It's lower in calories, it's full of essential nutrients and protein, and it's great for those of us who are lactose intolerant. And the best part is that it's easy to make at home. So let me show you how to do it. So here's what you'll need. 3 4 cups raw almonds. 2 cups of water. 3 dates pitted. And a dash of cinnamon. This recipe makes about 3 cups of almond milk, but feel free to double it if you want to store more. You'll need a blender, a cheesecloth, and a large bowl. To start, you'll want to soak the almonds for at least four hours, or better yet, overnight. These guys have been soaking overnight. You can see they're nice and plump. They really do expand. Almonds are packed with essential nutrients, potassium, magnesium, vitamin E, and other helpful fats. So let's pour them into the blender. And you can already see that the water is starting to look a little milky. Next, we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients. So I'm gonna add two cups of water. Beautiful. Add three dates for sweetness and make sure they're pitted. And then just a dash of cinnamon. Instead of using dates, you can add a teaspoon of maple syrup or honey or any other sweetener you prefer. I like using dates because they're a great source of fiber. Now I'm just gonna blend the mixture on high for about a minute. You wanna pulse it until it's creamy. Now for the last few steps. You want to pour this mixture over a cheesecloth. This will give it the smooth consistency. Pour it over, it'll also get rid of the almond chunks. All right, and then the key here is take your cheesecloth, wrap it up nicely, and then just sort of squeeze it, get all the milk out, and you'll leave the chunks in the cheesecloth. Smooth, creamy, has a nutty flavor. I like to drink it plain or add it to my cereal, coffee, smoothies. Let me know what you think in the comments. See you next time on Fit Sugar TV. Cheers.